Let's bang this one out. I got work. Jay, it's Black Opium by YSL. There's not much going on with this one, but what is there is working. Just these little details like the clear rimmed bottle, the line, if you can see that, the shape of the cap. It is modern. It's minimalist. It's going to work with the right type of display. It's sophisticated, and I c it's not going to be the most vanity display piece for most people. But like I said, this is definitely going to work. You could have like a little gold tray with, sorry bottle, with the little handles, put the rings on the side, maybe have one other bottle behind it, and just have that smooth little interior design space. It's going to work. What is holding this bottle back? back though is I have mixed feelings about this. I like the visual texture and maybe even the physical texture but it is also just sprayed on glitter. It's like that's that's all it is. This is just glitter which okay it's not the worst but I, I have a thing about spray nozzles. It has one job. If you turn this this spray nozzle doesn't work very well. If you're not perfectly straight and you're spraying, the mist gets harsher and it's not going to be as fine. So with that in mind, the bigger spritz is going to be oilier and because I often spray on my clothes, you can see droplets and they're going to be stains if it's too, the bottle's too close and if it's turned in the wrong way, it just spritzes globs. Does that make sense? Not my favorite thing considering this is an $80 bottle. So I did knock off points for that. It's a small detail, maybe one that doesn't affect everyone, but I'd rather not have to treat my clothes if I spray this wrong. Goodness, I'm nitpicky. Okay, this one. Black opium is, there's a reason. Look at this. It's almost gone. It is only one ounce and it is an expensive perfume compared to most that I do on my channel. But it makes me feel like I'm getting hugged. <laughs> Who doesn't like a nice warm hug? Like seriously, it is the metaphor. You're at a coffee shop and there's flowers and it's nice and it's the kind of sit down coffee that you have with like a crumpet or scone or muffin or something like nice and desserty and you're meeting up with a friend you haven't seen in a very very long time and you hug and the temperature is perfect and it's all warm and nice and or maybe you have the excitement of a very first date and you're just grabbing coffee and it's kind of new and you're all like radiating happiness because you're meeting this person you're really interested in and it's just like can you tell I get, I've talked about comfort perfumes in the past. This one's definitely one of my comfort perfumes, but it's a loud, it's on the other extreme of a comfort perfume. It's the party comfort, the big group gathering, the loudness, the boldness, but it's so good. Why am I pouting so much in this video? Um, for the actual description though, it is supposed to be black coffee, white flowers, and vanilla. Not a ton of notes going on, but there's some something about the way that they mix together that does a very, very good job of being sophisticated and just overall a statement perfume. It's not black coffee. It's not going to be coffee, but it does have the qualities that a coffee has. It is warm, rich, creamy, and inviting. It's something that so many people are going to love. I've seen a lot of people say that this perfume is overused. Well, it's overused for a reason. It's because so many people are going to like this, just like so many people like coffee. And the flowers it doesn't scream flower perfume. It's not flower bomb. It's not 
Tom Ford's Black Orchid. It's not going to be flower. But there is that floweriness to it that adds just to that sophistication and mixture all together. So it's not just, I talk a lot about, maybe not necessarily in every video, but there are perfumes that smell like something and then there's ones that smell like perfume. This one manages to kind of not be either. And I think that's why it does so well with so many people. And it definitely is one of the reasons that it does well with me. It fits so many moods. So my overall scores, the bottle, seven out of 10. It is not the most interesting thing, but it is definitely something that could be displayed in the right setting. Probably not me. You can just get the hint of the clutter up here in my life. You can get the hint of the clutter over here. Somehow I haven't filled this space or this one back there. Probably will happen at some point. I am halfway to being a hoarder. Wear time. This lasts. That's all you need to know. This lasts. 10 out of 10. Oh, I should also mention there are perfumes that can drastically change from the opening notes to the dry down and you kind of have to just go with the experience and hope you like both. This one stays very consistent across its wear time. That's why it's getting a 10 out of 10. The scent, also 10 out of 10. I like hugs and this is what that makes me think of. So it doesn't have a lot going on, but what it has, just like, I'm so happy. Okay, the price is where this one loses out because it's 83 for this. But I'm not gonna harsh on it too much because clearly this is gonna be the first perfume that I use the whole bottle for. That's a bold statement, but it, it's probably true. So I'm gonna give the price seven out of 10. Yeah, seven out of 10. Overall score, nine out of 10. It is very good. And as much as I kind of harshed on it for the price, it's still so, so nice and comforting and beautiful and I'm not gonna hold one thing against it when I care clearly that much that it's probably gonna be the first I use up. Okay, will I buy it again? Maybe not right away, just because I have other perfume goals, but I definitely need to save up and get the big size this time because if I'm gonna use it that much, I'm gonna do that. Till next time, bye.